everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, if this is your first time here. Welcome to my beauty entertainment channel. Yup, it's fun on here. I, I don't know, I don't really know what else to say there, so I'm just gonna keep going. If you would like to follow me on social media, here is my Twitter and my Instagram for your enjoyment. Have so much fun. I'm gonna be trying to be more active on Instagram. Don't hold me to that. Anyway, so that's social media. If you would like to check out some of my recent videos that I posted, I posted a video let's just check because so i posted a video a couple days ago ranking beyonce's albums sure did then before that i posted a video talking about the issues with the sims 4 and i ranked the expansion packs so if you want to play the sims but you don't know what which expansion packs to buy i ranked them from le from most useless to least useless in that video so you can go watch that and before that, I posted a video talking about Imagine by John Lennon and the celebrities that sing it, Miss Gal Gadot. So, those are my recent videos. If you like, check them out. Have fun. Let's get into this gig. Oh my god. Kim Kardashian is useless. I don't, I don't, I, okay. So, I have to start from the very, this is another get ready with me. You already knew. Um... We ha where where do I begin? So I'm gonna start from the very very beginning because I didn't know all this information, so I had to do research for myself, and it took a while. So I'm gonna talk about it now. So a couple of days ago, the unedited phone call of the conversation between Kim, but between Kanye and Taylor Swift got leaked. So that's what that's what started this whole mess up again. And now we have to take a time traveling back because this all happened, guess what, four years ago. And we're talking about it when? Four years later. When people are dying. Anyway, 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 any, it's okay, it's okay. So at the 2009 VMAs, Taylor Swift won Best Female Video for You Belong With Me. And a suit, great video. And as soon as she started to get, she was about to give her acceptance speech, old Kanye West got up on the stage and basically said I'm gonna let you finish but Beyonce had the best video of all time blah 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 and saying that she should have won for single ladies but I digress then later that night when Beyonce won for video of the year she invited Taylor on stage to give her speech because Kanye interrupted her just so you know classy anyway then Kanye like kind of apologized to Taylor on his blog and then she accepted it and then he like apologized, retracted, apologized. It was a, a disaster, a disaster. And then they're like fine for a little bit, I guess. Or are they really fine? We don't know. We don't know. They're not. Then in 2015, Taylor Swift presents Kanye West with his video Vanguard award and yeah. And then a year later, on February 11th, 2016, Kanye West released um, his song Famous. And this is when shit started to hit the fan, excuse my French. This is when things went to absolute horse radish. Okay, so in the song, he has a line and it says, um, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex why I made that bitch famous. That's, that's the line. And the issue is, Taylor says that she never approved for the bitch part to be in there. She said, I think what she said is that he, Kanye never told her that she was he was going to put that line in. And then, so that happened in February. And then in June, Kim Kardashian opened her mouth when nobody asked for her damn opinion. And basically said, oh, Taylor Swift is lying. Kanye West apps, my husband, my husband, Kanye West, he absolutely, definitely asked permission to use that line. She is a liar. She is lying. And then the music video came out. Um, if you haven't seen the famous music video, um, count your blessings because it's disturbing. I find, I find it disturbing. If you haven't seen it, go watch it or maybe don't, or maybe don't. Um, so basically Kanye West is like Kanye West and Kim are laying in a bed naked with um, naked mannequins representing different people in pop culture. So like there was a naked Donald Trump disturbing. There was a naked and there was a naked Taylor Swift in the video, but it was a mannequin made to look like Taylor Swift or whatever. So that happens. Then, in July of 2016, Kim Kardashian releases her so-called receipts because she's so over the situation that she feels a need to release receipts mm, three, four months later. Okay, so she released her, she's 34 years old. 
Kim Kardashian is 34 years old at this time. Anyways, like with children, 34 years old. So she posts a few clips on Snapchat, I think it was, that are supposed to make this situation crystal clear to everyone who clearly cares about it. And she's lying, she's lying. Well, she edited all the clips. Ah, oh, she edited all, it's jump cut after jump cut after jump. She uh, cropped a iMovie. She learned how to use iMovie. Actually, she probably had someone use iMovie for her and edit, edit every single clip. Lied. She lied. She, li she lied. And then Kim went on her snake emoji tirade for like, I don't, uh, she's 34 years old. She went on a snake emoji. She basically what she did is she, it was National Snake Day. She chose, it was, she picked, it was on purpose. National Snake Day, she releases these receipts. She's 34 years old. Anyway, she releases these receipts and is basically like, mm, she's Taylor Swift is a snake. She sends her stands. We'll be back to the, we'll be back to that part. She sends her stands after Taylor. They comment snake, the snake, they put the snake emoji all over Taylor's Instagram page, you know, white women fighting with snake emojis. Oh my God. One second, gotta concentrate for this. Whoop. Also, this is the Milani Screen Cream Foundation. I've been using this way, way more. Yeah, this is the best one. Milani Screen, if I had anywhere to go, this is the foundation I'd be wearing. This is the best foundation that I've tried in the past couple of months. Like I would say it's better than NYX Born to Glow, I'm sorry. I love NYX Born to Glow, I like this a little bit better. Just wanted to throw that in there. <laughs> okay, then she sent her snakes after her. And then, so because this was in 2016, which I would say is Kim Kardashian's peak, she sort of kind of won the battle because i mean she sent her stands after taylor with the snake emoji thing and like taylor kind of ran off so so did she win did she win by forfeit i don't know but like kim kardashian saw it as a victory so she like won or whatever and for some reason i don't know why people believed kim kardashian and kanye west over taylor swift not exactly sure why because if i was a betting person i wouldn't believe them over her but I was not I knew this was going on when this is ha when this was happening but I really didn't feel like looking up exactly what was happening so I just kind of ignored it I was also in high school so I definitely ignored this and this started the whole this didn't start but it really brought up the conversation of Taylor Swift always playing the victim which she does okay like um, I, listen, listen, the world turned on Taylor Swift. She went from being America's sweetheart to being like one of the most hated celebrities due to Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. So like, that is something that like we, like the world really, really turned on her. Like hard, like a complete, complete 180 on Taylor Swift. People, st people started to hate her. She. So this reignited the whole like Taylor Swift is a white woman playing the victim, which she is. Taylor Swift is annoying. Um, she, she's annoying, she plays the victim a lot, but this really added the fuel to the fire of the victim narrative. And they used Kim, I don't know why Kim Kardashian thinks she has the range to call someone else um, self-victimizing, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, but Taylor Swift, I, I like, you can't, Taylor Swift plays the victim a lot. She does. She's annoying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So then the next year in 2017, Taylor Swift enters her reputation era, which everyone knows I don't like. I don't like her reputation album. I don't like this era at all for different reasons. I think it was a poor choice on Taylor's part to lean into the snake thing I like I get it she was like reclaiming the word oh my god so like I let people have things I'm letting her have it just because I don't like it doesn't mean she shouldn't have done it I just don't like that album I, do, I don't think she should have just leaned completely into I'm a snake I'm a snake um, Kim Kardashian hates me I'm a snake I don't think she should have like completely thrown herself and made that her entire personality but I'm gonna let her have her thing she was reclaiming the word I hate it here people are dying anyway so he, she was reclaiming the word or whatever I wish she had just ignored it and just kind of gone went dormant I wish she just like gone dormant for like a year and just like 
ignored it and just released an actual good album. Because I, I, I don't like Reputation, but again, I'm not going to take that away from her. It was her choice to do that. Good, good on her. Good on her. All right, and then in last year, August 2019, I think Taylor Swift had a Vogue cover, and she talked about the Kim Kardashian Kanye West situation again, and she was discussing how it made her go to a pretty dark place, which is understandable. They turned the world again. It's so crazy how Kim Kardashian did that. I'm gonna get on her in a second. Oh my god, loser. So then she starts her lover era, which isn't over, so I can't say much about my opinions on it. So far, I think it's mediocre. I'm sorry. The album, oh my, what? This Fenty powder does whatever she wants. I'm sorry. So um, I can't say too much about it. I think it's pretty mediocre so far. For, so far. Um, not exactly sure she knows where she's going with the lover error and I don't so I'm not supposed to know either so like it could go I liked some of the songs on lover some of them have grown on me but it's I have like I'm just like it's very just like eh. it's very just like eh. I don't think she knows where she's going with I don't think she knows where she's going with this era so then in February of this year, she releases the Miss Americana, her Netflix documentary, right after the whole Scooter Braun owning her masters, wouldn't let her perform, but then she ended up performing anyway, that whole situation. And then we get to last week. So last week, the, so the, um, Kim, Kim Kardashian, the, like three years ago, three years ago, she released the video clips that were supposed to prove that Kanye told Taylor blah 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 then a couple but taylor has been like those clips are edited but nobody believed her anyway then a couple days ago the actual unedited raw clips came out they got leaked they got leaked <sighs> anyways they got leaked and lo and behold miss taylor swift was correct the entire time Anyone with half a brain cell could have told you that, but now we know she was right the entire time. She never gave Kanye West permission to use that line because he never asked her. He never told her about it. So that got leaked a couple of days ago, and now we get to like lo fewer couple of days ago. <laughs> so the full video leaked, so like Taylor had to say something, right? Well, she posted on her Instagram story, she basically, I'll put it on the screen if I can find it again, I, I'll try. Um, she basically was, was like, yes, I told you guys. She's like, I told, she literally said it, at, it was so, I actually really liked the way she said it. She was like, I, t are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? She said, we've known, I've known. You told me what I already knew. Wow, no, I liked how she said it. She was like, I already knew, but let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the fact that we are in the middle of a global pandemic. And then she linked to some like donation stuff. Good, 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 good to Taylor. Good. She did a great job. She addressed it. She said, I was right from the beginning. You guys should have believed me. And then she linked to donation to donate for the for Miss Rona. And then she left. Excellent, excellent work. Oh, all I could have asked for. All I could have asked for. So. Now the world found out that she's right. She was right the whole time. Kim and Kanye are liars. Could have told you that, that they're liars. And now we can all be like, oh, I'm so sorry for believing Miss Diaper Girl over you. I'm so sorry, Taylor. And that, it should have ended right there, right? It should have ended, it didn't. It didn't because Kim is Kim. Kim Kardashian is Kim Kardashian and she needs to act like this in order to keep her career afloat. Four, it's been four years since this happened. All right, so Taylor responds, and I think I think it's a good response, but she responds, and then what happens? Kim Kardashian gets her tired, has been old, not old, she's not old, her tired, has been diaper booty ass on the Twitter and starts ranting for no reason. She starts ranting for no reason and when nobody asks her. I'll put all the tweets on the screen. I don't feel like reading them right now because I'm doing my makeup. But I remember what they said. Actually, let me read the first tweet because the first tweet was, was hilarious to me. And she doesn't make it a thread. She does like individual tweets, which I don't like. I don't like when people do that. Just make it a thread. Now you're taking up the whole timeline. But I am glad that she did it because now you can look at how many replies she got. The stands are eating her 
ass up are eating her she's getting 20k replies on her tweets she's getting 30k replies on her tweets because she wanted to rehash this four years later when she should have ignored it oh i'll get to that later okay so the first tweet she starts off this whole debacle de chaos literal chaos with taylor as she at at Taylor Swift has chosen to reignite an old exchange that at this point in time feels very self-serving, giving the suffering millions of real victims are facing right now. I know Kim Kardashian is not calling someone else an attention whore. I know Kim Kardashian, whose entire career is based off of stunts, she does every three to four business days, is not calling somebody else an attention whore. That doesn't sit right with me. I know someone who ha someone who has had a reality show for 17 seasons, which new season is premiering tomorrow. How interesting is that? Which new season is premiering tomorrow? It's Wednesday, right? Yep, premiering tomorrow. I know she's not calling somebody else an attention whore. I know, I know that to be true. I know that to be true. Here's the thing. I can't, I, whew, would I have thought I would be making a whole video defending Taylor Swift? No, because I thought the situation was over. Here's the thing. Let me um give you background. I'm a secret stan of Taylor Swift. I love, I adore everything she put out before Reputation. Reputation ruined it for me. I Listen, not everything is for me. I get that. I personally don't like that album. I'm not tell. I don't, I personally don't like it. Like... Lover is average, reputation is bad, but I really enjoy Taylor Swift. I really, truly, and I, I like her music. She's good. I can't ignore talent. Like, I can't, am I supposed to ignore 1989, which is pop perfection? Am I supposed to ignore pop perfection? No, I'm not stupid. So, like, that's just my background on this. So, like, I'm not coming, I'm no, I'm not a... I'm a secret Santa Taylor Swift. If she would be less annoying, if she would be less annoying and less of a extreme white woman, I would stand her more publicly, but she's not. So I'm gonna stand her in secret. Made she makes incredible music. Let me I just wanted to say that. Just 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 I just wanna say that so like people know. I know Kim Car this is the this first tweet made me so mad. Kim Kardashian, who has done absolutely nothing to help nobody during this corona thing and here's the thing people are always like well celebrities don't have to make everything public and it's like yes i completely agree with you if a celebrity donates money to something they don't have to say anything they don't have to even put their name on it they don't and they shouldn't most of the time however you're telling me that the kardashians put their entire lives out there which again, does not give us a right to know every little thing about them. They still deserve some privacy, but telling the same people who put everything out there wouldn't, and who are actually in a bad, the, the general public is viewing the Kardashians pretty badly right now. You're telling me they wouldn't say anything if they publicly donated it, if they donated anything to help with corona relief. You're telling me the Kardashians wouldn't say anything if they actually donated to public relief for the corona. Don't be dumb. Don't, don't be dumb. Don't, they would be saying something and it, it would be loud as all hell. It would be loud as all hell if, oh my God, it would have been a whole Instagram, don't be stupid. And the thing is that real, it's like, they wouldn't miss out on good PR like that, especially because the world don't like, doesn't like the Kardashians right now. They don't like the Kardashians. I'll get some of that in like a second. The thing is with me, with Kim, she, so she goes on this Twitter rant. It's like seven tweets long. I don't know. It's, I think it's more. That, it's might be like eight. Okay. Here's the thing. Kim Kardashian is wrong. She's in the wrong. What the unedited clip proved is that Kim and Kanye lied. You are the one at fault here. That's what the video, am I misunderstood? You are the one at fault. I'm seeing a lot of projection. I'm seeing quite a bit of projection, Kim. You are at fault here. And then all of a sudden, 
Taylor Swift is the self-serving one. When this video got leaked, got low okay, Kim, okay Kim, we please, please. And then in these tweets, she tried to backpedal at the end. She was like, no, because in this tweet, she was like, to be clear, the only issue I ever had around the situation was that Taylor lied through her publicist who stated that Kanye never called to ask for permission. They clearly spoke, so I let you all see that. Nobody ever denied the word bitch was up without her permission. Yes, you did. Yet you called Taylor Swift a liar. You went on a snake tyrant. You called her a snake. You, you called her a snake. You sent your stands after Taylor Swift to call her a snake because you said she was lying. Now you're backpedal. It makes no type of sense. It makes no. It makes no type. It makes no type. It makes no types of sense. And then Taylor Swift's publicist posted the original, um, the original unedited original statement, um, and it basically says Kanye did not call to did not call for approval, but to ask Taylor to release his single Famous on her Twitter account. She declined and cautioned him about releasing a strong, a song with such a strong misogynistic message. Taylor was never made aware of the actual lyric, I made that bitch famous. So her publicist said, you're lying. You're lying, cause she is. She's lying. Here's the thing with Miss Kimberly. She's a fool. She play. She's a fool, and she's wasting everybody's time. In fact, let us start here. Let me put my bronzer down. I don't want to hear. I. This is my thing, Kim. Nobody cares. It not only not only has it been four years since this happened. We're also in the middle of a global pandemic right now, so nobody really cares. That's my thing. I don't want to hear anything from a celebrity during this time if it's not send me your cash app i don't want to hear i don't care i don't care i don't i have my phase i have my phase that i will always care about the rest of them i don't care your productions are all halted you have no interest in me anymore unless you're one of my faves i don't care donation checkbooks cash app direct deposit any wire transfer that's what i want to hear out of celebrity's mouth free baby formula free rent i'm gonna pay for all your groceries this is what i want to hear not Nima Taylor Swift lied. I'm sad. I don't want to. I don't want to hear it. No, it's not just me. Nobody cares. I. 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 I nobody. I. Nobody cares. No. All right. So I wanted to continue what I said. I wanted to say this also. I said this in my Corona video, like the video where I did about that. I want celebrity to shut up. I already said this before, but I'm gonna say it again for extra emphasis since they're not paying attention. We don't want to hear not one thing from you. Not. I'm talking about anything. We don't want to hear anything unless it involves a financial transaction. We don't want to. This is. The, this is. This is. I don't understand what's not clicking. I don't understand why publicists are not telling them to shut. Shut the hell up right now. We don't need any more because the celebrities have been trying to do the whole relatable thing, and now in a time like this where we're clearly seeing how wealth disparity and wealth inequality works like it's ever so clear right now relatability gotta go you guys were never relatable in the first place but now gotta go got no gotta go nobody wants this is the thing if you can't delete your social media apps if you can't do it make burner accounts make bur burner accounts are beautiful make a burner account you can post all your shit or should have how you're bored in your mega mansion you can post all that there but we don't want to hear anything that does not involve a dollar sign please i'm begging okay so i wanted to say one more quick thing celebrities have lost it they've lost you know why they've lost it the attention's not on them for once the attention is not on them for once and they, they don't know what to do the world's perceptions of celebrities and like the high state like the high and mighty oh celebrities are so cool is dwindling it's going it's declining at the negative one slope it's going down it's going down for real it's going down because people are realizing these celebrities realize that they, 
people are realizing that celebrities bring nothing to the table. They do nothing. They add nothing. There's no substance there. They Their careers are based off attention being given to them. And because attention is not being given them right now, they don't know what to do. Shambles. Shambles. And that's what's causing all this chaos. Why do you think they sat down and sang Imagine by John Lennon in front of their phone screens? because they don't know what else to do. They don't know what else to do. They have nothing else to give the people of America. They don't realize what we want you to give is your dollars, is the coins. That's what we want you to give. That's what we want you to give. If they got to the, their thick schools, it would be better. It would be better. But right now we are seeing the decline of the celebrities. I don't even know what to call it, like reverence, if that's a proper word. We're seeing that right now. Like, here's the thing. We barely cared when the unedited video came out. We barely cared when we learned that Taylor Swift was right. What would make you think we would care when you, that you're backpedaling? What What would, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Cause okay, this is also another thing. I, I feel, I know I didn't know a lot. I don't know why people believe Kim and Kanye over Taylor. I don't, I'm choosing to ignore that. I feel like, why would you? I don't know. Maybe it's just me who would be like. I mean, if she said I didn't, I'd never heard the line I made that bitch famous. I would be inclined to believe her. Because why would Taylor Swift approve a line like that? Like if you, do you, have you, did you listen to her? I don't even think she curses in her music. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe that, I, maybe I don't know. Now we're back to the Kardashians are dumb. This was an egregious error made by the Kardashian clan. This was a mistake. This was a Kim, Kim, if Kris Jenner was involved in this, I am very surprised because this is a stupid idea. This was, you should have ignored the hell out of this video. You should have ignored the hell out of the clip that was leaked. If they leaked it, which they, which, mm, people were saying they could have leaked it for their new season. I don't know why they would have leaked it. Um, because this is just at fault for them. If they did leak it, I'm interested to see what, how Chris is gonna turn it, because I'm not seeing a positive side out of this. I'm really not, I'm not. So we all know the new season is coming tomorrow. Very, very interesting. New season is coming tomorrow. So like they needed to ignite some sort of mess because of the quarantine. They don't want people to watch their show, but like nobody watches your show. Nobody watches your show because you guys are annoying and you have no sense of personality. So why would we watch the first episode of your show based on four-year-old stale drama that was resolved? Because I don't, I don't understand. I don't, I, this is, this is the thing that's not, that's, I don't, I, I, I don't get it. It was, you are in the wrong. We don't care about your side because you are in the wrong. That's what the unedited clip proved is that you are in the we don't care about your side no more because there is no side because you are wrong whatever so they lost they lost they lost that's not even their biggest loss this is the thing kim you don't have shooters no more like you used to like you used to back in 2016 at her peak she does not kim kardashian does not have shooters like that anymore i mean she'll always have her fans she'll always have her ride or die hard fans but a lot of people have moved on a lot of people have moved on from the Kardashians as a whole, or they've moved on from Kim to Kylie. Nobody buys their makeup because I don't know why you wouldn't, why 2016 you were at your pro, the peak. Why you wouldn't start the line then? I don't know. You don't, you don't have stands like, you don't have stands like that anymore. But do you know who does? Do you know who has stands just as strong as she did four years ago? Taylor Swift. That's who does. That's, they are plentiful and powerful, Kim. You made a mistake. <laughs> you made, and we can see it. Oh, we can see it. 
from the tweets. Old girl has 30k replies to her tweet. If you don't know what that means, that's a, that's a fuck ton. That's a lot. The stands are in her comments trying to, trying to ruin her. They're trying to ruin her. We're seeing app hate campaigns, campaigns using, um, because the Kardashians have a lot of things wrong with them. We're seeing a lot more lit thread of all the Kardashians racist stuff. I saw three of those this morning scrolling. Campaigns are already getting started. You're losing. You're, you're sinking, Kim. You're sinking, Kim. And it's like, I check in on the Swifties every so often because I like her music. I, li I like her music and if she was less annoying, I would stand more. So I check in on them um, on occasion. They've been preparing for this one, Kim. They have been preparing for this, Kim. They've been working since reputation for this, Kim. They have been preparing. And now you gave them a chance. Now, if had you had ignored it, had you had ignored the video, you wouldn't have rehashed this because you, you're, it, 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 Kim is so self, I don't, I, I don't know what to just describe it as. She's insane. You started this back up thinking you would win. No, now you gave the Swifties the opportunity to take you down. That, this is the thing. Will they succeed? I don't know. I don't know enough about the actual strength of their fan base. Like, I don't know if the Swifties are crazy, like crazy, crazy or not. All stands are a little bit, but like, I don't know the overall, like, mental state of her, of those stands. If they bring in their allies from the racist, um, if they bring in the, the stands of the racist, if they have allies with them, you'll be done. Kim will be done. If they, if they were smart enough to form alliances with the stands of the racists and the whisper singers, if they were smart enough to form alliances with them, you're done, Kim. You're done. It's like, it, it's curtains, curtains, curtains. Close them, because it's time. It's, it's like, your family, the, Car K K K the Kardashian clan, is not in the best light right now. Like, objective, like, they'll always be famous and they'll always have their, like, bubble of fans. But outside of that bubble, perceptions of the Kardashians are not high right now. Perceptions of celebrities in general is terrible right now, especially due to Miss Rona. Perceptions of celebrities are already terrible. And then you have that whole Jordan Wood situation thing like a year ago or so, which made people finally realize that you guys are bullies. I don't know what took people so long to realize that you guys are a bunch of mean girls, but whatever. It's like, this could really hurt. This could really, really hurt you. Like y'all being culture vultures and being racist and you know, fetishizing black, all that stuff while stealing black women's identities, that won't get you canceled. But being mean to this white woman might, might just uh, uh, put a dent in the career run. Being mean to a white woman and now being mean to Taylor Swift one of the one of the extreme white women yeah this isn't good that's not good for y'all that's not that's not that's not good that is not good for y'all they should have buried the hell out of this clip they should have whoop whoop they should have buried the hell out of this oh my god this was stupid and this is all because they didn't give beyonce her damn award had they given beyonce her award we wouldn't be getting terrorized by kim kardashian 11 years later that's that's the moral of this story give beyonce her accolades and we won't keep being terrorized by kim kardashian imagine how tired we are give beyonce her awards it'll solve it'll make world peace Give Beyonce her awards that she deserves, and we won't have these issues, sis. Like, and then this is another. This is I'm. This made me so mad. So this part, this man named Todrick Hall, went on an Instagram rant about the situation. I don't know exactly who Todrick Hall is. I know his name, and I know what he looks like. I'm not sure who he is. I know he's one of Taylor Swift's friends, and he was. He's in a, he's been in a lot of her performances in this new era. That's all I really know. But he did something that really, really pissed me off. 
like, okay, drags that are rooted in misogyny are not funny. Drag, like you're misog you're just misogynistic. There are so many things that you could come at Kim Kardashian for. She is a culture vulture. She literally rips, steals, robs black women's identities and puts them on herself like a costume. There are so many things you could come at her for. Why are you going back to her sex tape? Are you kidding me? Or I thought we have grown. I thought we have grown since then. You could even get on the fact that she is a grown woman, 39 years old, a grown woman rehashing four year old drama with Taylor Swift. You could drag her for that, but you had to bring up her sex tape, really? The private sex tape that was leaked without her permission. Why, why, why? Coming back to that is misogynistic. It is, it is and it's slut shaming. Why would you do that? Why, why would you do that? That made me, I was like, are you kidding me? There were so many things, so many things you could come at Kim Kardashian for. You notice how I called her an attention whore? I did call her an attention, because she is. I did not bring up her sex tape because that is that is low. That is because it she it was without her permission. She was the victim in that situation. That is low and that is misogynistic. It doesn't matter. Kim, I don't like Kim Kardashian. I would never do that because that is just low. That is oh my I oh my God oh ah. it's like. I don't, I don't, I, I don't get why people always bring up her sex tape. I'm like that. There were so many things. There were so many. Kim, the Kardashians have done so much bull shit. There's so many other things you could bring up that doesn't involve her private sex life. That's misogynistic. I don't, I don't want, I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I don't. That, like, that made me upset. I was like, now you just negated the rest of your argument. Now you just completely negated the rest of your argument. Now I can't read it and I can't agree with you because you decided to be misogynistic and come after her sex life instead of the literal dissertation I could write about the stuff that Kim Kardashian has done. Whatever, whatever, like, Anyway, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, that's the whole Kim Kardashian, Kanye Taylor Swift situation. Notice how Kanye West isn't saying anything. Why? I don't know why Kim thinks she needs to speak for him. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on with that because he never opened his mouth once in the situation and he's the one who caused it. Whatever whatever it's very it's very very interesting very very interesting how he hasn't said a word he hasn't said a word whatever it's his wife who's writing nine tweets going on a tweet that's for someone as big as her that's a, that's a rant that's a rant it's going on a rant four years after the fact it's all quite interesting to me and I know and never needs that. I don't care. If the moral of a story is, if the next words out of a celebrity's mouth is not send me your cash app, I don't want to hear it. I don't care. Nobody, it's not, it's not just me. Nobody cares. Like, I, I think by me saying I don't care, people are like, well, it's just your opinion. Nobody cares. Do you care about this? No. There are much bigger issues happening right now. So, yeah. See it on my video. Yeah, don't use Kim Kardashian's sex tape as a drag. That's misogynistic. Oh my god. Anyway, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like following me on social media, here is my Twitter and my Instagram. Go and enjoy yourself on there. And yeah, if you'd like to check out some of my recent videos, they'll be on the screen now. That's a seagull. Ooh, I don't like seagulls. All right, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Let me know what you guys think about the, about the situation down in the comments below. And yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.